You're tuned into Long Island's only FM sports voice. This is Sports Talk on 90.3 WHBC. All righty, sports fans coming at you every Thursday evening, 100% commercial free right here on 90.3. WHPC, WHPC HD. We are located in scenic and historic Garden City, New York. And this little radio program that we call here on the radio dial is Sports Talk. I, I have to retire. Just Cameron. I have You're to not re- clapping. I, I'm retiring. Okay. Just young Cameron claps for me. Oh, well, what's up with it's that? Di- it's different now. <laughs> you know, the, the main guy who yeah, started yeah, it. The, cl- the clapping, yeah. There you go. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Steve Dassa. But you can hear Steve Dassa on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. This is Sports Talk. My name is Chris Muldoon. Over there is Cameron Bornagora. Over there, the non-clappy. Thankfully, Cameron, he knows. He gets yeah, the program. I know. I know the, the clapping deal. sort of goes go, goes back to, wasn't just what we used to do with Steve. It was just, the clapping went back to old-time radio, like the original Howard Stern show, for, for instance. But a lot of those shows had the clapping. It was very 60s, 70s, 80s kind of uh, DJ stuff is that sort of where it comes from. But... Uh, Kristen Hamilton will be with us soon, and uh, Nick Warnberger uh, uh, was on assignment. But uh, this is Sports Talk. So much to talk about in the world of sports. Uh, obviously, the Mets haven't scored since when last we met. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Yankees are playing the Mets starting tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And, but they may need a pitcher or not. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. But they are going to be playing the Red Sox, so they'll need some pitchers. Br- bring in the endless trade talk. This is the, this is the show for it. This is every other show That's the right. The, the, then you've got uh, LeBron James. And then you've got the city of Philadelphia, which is just hilarious because uh, they now have the team going forward in basketball that, that everyone wants to be a part of, and then they had to get rid of them. GM, GM. <laughs> yeah, their GM. Do we think it was the wife having the Twitter, or was it him? It was the wife. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know. Maybe Sam Hankey did something from behind. <laughs> I, you know, that's the thing. It's like the NBA essentially put that guy there because Hankey was tanking so much with the process, right, that they put him there. And then to have this happen. And so now, you know who the number one uh, people say is, is, is the favorite to get the job and why? Billy King. No, no, it's, it's, it's Griffin, the guy who used to be the GM oh, of, of, Griffin. Of, of the Cavaliers. Why would that be? Yeah, oh, we could, LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and LeBron, you know, one more game and he'll be free. <laughs> he'll, be, <laughs> he'll be a free agent. Him and John Tavares can be uh, free together. Only, pro- <laughs> only problem. Oh. Hey, that was Ooh. a low blow. Only problem is the uh, the Islanders made a move to get Tavares to stay by getting Lou Lamarillo and uh, and they finally got yeah. rid of but Snow and they Wade. didn't get rid of well, Snow no, and Wade. Technically, yeah, technically you know. they're out of position, but yeah. they're still in the organization. The dead weight. That's what they are. Dead yellow <laughs> snow and dead weight. It's like promoting on somebody above you who's from out the outside. Right. right. And it's like I mean, they, I'm supposed to listen to this guy now. The, yeah, this is what you learned in. Uh, this is all corporate talk. Number one, uh, they're going to you know wait and Snow have to be paid. So they're going to be there. They have to do something. Whether, Advisor? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's going to be like uh, Lawrence sure. Frank? Well, like well, well, exactly. You have to do whatever the letter of the law. To, to, to get every dollar you're owed, you have to do these many things. Uh, and then the 76ers thing is such that uh, they allowed him to save face by resigning. But he's also going to get paid something. But they let him save face by, okay, you know, this way we didn't fire you. It's not. It doesn't go on as a news item that we fired you. But, uh, you know, you got to go home. You just can't stay here is pretty much what they told told them so um that's exactly what happened there um 516-572-7440 the belmont stakes is this saturday and that is a nassau county event that's actually yes. something next year at least we should as a station try to get involved with because it's the nassau county this is this thing. why not this year this what happened nassau this year oh, it might be too late i don't know i know it's, it's too late but how come we didn't get involved no, but i'm just saying that in general because now through june 9th at Stu leonard's on front street in east meadow all donations made in their wishing well at the front of the store directly benefit all of us at 90.3 whpc so if you go between now and june 9th so today's june 7th between now and saturday go to Stu leonard's on fruit uh, front street in east meadow all donations Nations made in their wishing well at the front of the store directly benefit us all at 90.3 WHPC. You know what that means. So, Does if you happen to be there, if you happen to be there and you happen to be a listener uh, WHPC, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I've been going to Sioux Leonard since the 90s. Really? And now, now Long Islanders are catching on to it, so. <laughs> yeah, well, hey. 
As they're a sponsor, I'm not going to say anything, but we are commercial free. Uh, but I have strong views. You, you missed out. It was great. I have strong views. Um, I, I, I've, I've, I have I have problems with the... Um, everybody, ever go to a water park and have the lazy river? Yes. Which, are, which is fantastic. I love... And, and I only discovered water parks like four years ago, and I love the lazy river. Splish Flash? But that's... I've never been to Splish Flash. Splish no, no. Flash. I've, I've been never there. been. But the thing about the lazy river is... It's one way on, one way off. Yeah, which is what Stu Leonard's is. Oh, so if yes. you get like caught, Ikea. if you go, if, exactly, exactly. So this, when I have the, the times I pick to go to Stu Leonard's is usually um, uh, elderly person time, and then I'm swimming against the, I'm, I'm swimming upstream because I, I need to go there, I need to go there, and it's like Duh. you might as well play music because I'm not getting across. It's just not happening. You, you know where I've never been. I hob. Oh, I hob. Yes. <laughs> that, yes. That's just great. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and then, and our, even even our president tweeted about getting that. He Be- did? Yes, yes. Big boy, you know him. He's going to miss P. <laughs> he can't go to the one on 14th Street? <laughs> He's going to miss P. Ah, oh, forget it. Never mind. That's really just good, don't though. get it. That, so B's got to be for breakfast, right? Yeah, it can't I would be assume bacon, so. Right? Well, he's not going to the one uptown. So where's he going to go to yeah, the one on Fourteenth Street? It's 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 just it's. I, so I guess they're going to go. With, you know what was wrong with IHOP? That's just. <laughs> and then today my Starbucks raised the prices. I'm like, great. That's uh, you know, <laughs> they, they have free bathrooms and they raise their prices. I guess they're paying for the free bathrooms, but. Uh, uh, yeah, but why would you? T- I, I mean, I have everyone knows it as IHOP, and it's, it's it's yeah. And they want you to get more than pancakes. Is that what it is? I mean, come on, they they we know that there's more than pancakes there. Not that people do it, but you know, I've gotten more than pancakes. There. I don't know. And uh, it's like it's like um, KFC. You know, there are always urban urban lip myths that uh, oh, they changed it because it's not really chicken. They can't call it chicken. No, they changed it. Number one, because everyone is. Uh, into abbreviations, particularly their demographic. But B, fried became a dirty word. So they didn't want you to say fry. That's why it became KFC. 516 572 7440. 516 572 7440. And now I want people to know if you are the first caller to 516 572 7440, you can win a pair of tickets to see the Long Island Ducks take on the Lancaster Barnstormers on Sunday, June 17th. A great Father's Day present. That is Father's Day, by the way. So if you want to take your dad or your granddad or your, or if your grandfather wants to take your grandson or your granddaughter or, or if your mom want to take your father or whatever, if man, woman want to take your mom, you want to take whoever you want to take, but it's a great Father's Day present. The Long Island Ducks bring you Atlantic League baseball all summer long at Beth Page Ballpark in Central Islip. More information about their schedule, tickets, and more can be found at liducks.com. Call 516-572-7440 to win right now. Now, I don't know. We, we no longer have the strong lead in that we had. We have to re- change our uh, base a little bit. In terms, of We just get the strong lead in from um, Sock Hop. So if there's anyone out there and listening who wants to have a pair of tickets to see the Long Island Ducks take on the Lancaster Barnstormers on Sunday, June 17th, that's Father's Day, call 516 516- 6572-7440. They are free, and they can be yours. I'd call 516-572-7440. I guess a good lead-in would be them to talk about World Cup. You know? Well, yeah. And then Which we talk is, a little about World I would, Cup. You know, I was just thinking the other day, I'm like, I was doing the math as to when the World Cup would be. I'm like, oh, man, it's this summer. You know, it's 2018. Yeah. But the U.S. doesn't care. So we've, you've got to choose a team if well, that's your thing. So I guess Iceland is where I'm going. Well, now the commercial has been... Trace your roots to your DNA and root for the team. Oh, uh, terrific! Yeah, that's. Uh, in fact, they're doing An- Ancestry DNA is doing a Father's Day special, and that's what they're doing. Like, let Dad find out his roots. I'm like, yeah. what by spitting in a thing? <laughs> it's like I found out I was Portuguese. Did you really? Yeah. Oh wow! I mean, do, do we buy this stuff? Do we, do we think it's true? Uh, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it'd be. I mean, it's kind of cool, right? I guess you yeah. got to go all of them. You got to do the ancestry one. You got to do the other yeah. one. It's like, there's like three all together. I think three different, like, uh, three different uh, companies. Well, well, we're religious guys. Imagine if like all of a sudden somebody doesn't answer it says read DNA, DNA and it says God. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Well, it's, it's like, I'd walk on water if that happened. Yeah. But, uh, you yeah, know, that's uh, I'd, I'd part the Red Sea. If yeah. That, uh, <laughs> that's, 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 yeah, that would be if <laughs> you said you're descended from God. I am. I am indeed. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Ancestry DNA proved it. Or or blue bloods. So you really are royalty. You've got blue blood. Yeah. 
but no, or, or you watch CBS on 10 o'clock on Friday nights with Tom Selleck. But, uh, <laughs> Peter King. 516 572 7440. That's your number to call if you want to talk on the air. It's also your number if you would like to win a pair of tickets to see the Long Island Ducks. Um, take on the Lancaster Barnstormers. Do you know what they call the Barnstormers? Barnstorming was a thing. Uh, baseball teams used to do, particularly like here in Babe Ruth era, if you ever saw the movie The Natural, where baseball players would go and play all around the great nation of ours, but they'd play on, at, like at farms and stuff. They'd take on the Iowa. local teams or whatever, exactly. And that was storming barns. That was barnstorming. And they did not have a home stadium. Lancaster was a team in that, is it the Atlantic League? Yes. The, they did not have a home stadium. So all of Lancaster's games, oh no, that was the Road Warriors. There was, I'm sorry, I take that back. There was a, maybe it was the, they changed it. There was a team in Pennsylvania in the Atlantic League. They didn't have a home stadium because they were called. So they were called the Road Warriors because every game they played was on the road. But uh, the Barnstormers, that phrase came from the, the baseball you go and play all the people at the farms, whatever. And I believe um, the Barnstormers was the name of the arena football yes, league team that Kurt, Kurt Warner played for. Right, right. And then, Iowa. And then where did they become? Do you know who the Iowa the Dragons? Were? Hey, the Long Island Dragons. And they then, did. And then they had a green logo that yeah. uh, that never. And it was owned out. by Wong, right? Because no, no, they the, sold it. Actually, he actually lucked out. He actually sold it at the last minute. Okay. And then the new owner took it over and then the, the league went under because the dragons were supposed to be a, the chinese well, connotation that's yes. why he had it yeah that's why sparky the dragon and right uh, right right it was a so. cross promotion between the yeah what do you have about six years between cross promotion islanders and dragons right uh, and then uh, niles <laughs> i went to one of those dragons games before my friend's co- well, I think confirmation the, party the, the arena league how really say the yeah. confirmation party the, the the arena i thought only that only happens in only the good die young with uh with uh billy joel the the um uh Oh, the, the, the Arena League, I think it's going on now, because doesn't uh, yeah, so Philadelphia Soul, like John USFL. Bon Jovi owns a team, right? Yeah, right. yeah. So Well, they, they're weird now. They're actually splitting games, I think, between Allentown and Philly. Oh, really? Okay. Well, another Billy Joel reference. Allentown. You can hear Piano Man every Sunday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., hosted by me right here on 90.3. And believe it or not, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they do pretty well in Allentown, actually. Makes, uh, you know... Uh, Allentown has a nice arena. There's there's an arena there, and that's all not not it's not that far. But Hershey Park has had a nice arena too. Yeah, Hershey Bears, yeah. Yeah. Hershey Washington Bears. Capital affiliates. Yeah, and so, speaking of Washington Capitals, there. Yeah, uh, there you go. This is a nice. When is when is the final game? Or would be? It's, it's the right now. It's on right now. Are they now. up? In first intermission. Uh, I, zero zero. I actually had the chance to watch the intro today to that. Yeah. It's like, uh, what's that name of that place in New Jersey? You go, maybe a little time. Oh, yeah, 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 it's, uh, where's my uh, finger food and my <laughs> soup? And well, like I said, the, I, I can't believe. They're animals. I can't believe how, see, I remember going to Giants games like when they, back when they played at Giants Stadium. They haven't really moved. They're still at the Meadowlands. And seeing medieval times signs and everything and being like, what is this place? It sounds so weird, whatever. And then, it, was, it always became like a joke about New Jersey. Oh, medieval times. Medieval times is so huge all of a sudden, I don't know if people were grown up on it or weaned on it or whatever. It's people make destinations from Long Island advertises heavily too on TV. People from Long Island are making destinations going there all the time. Maybe because it makes sense for like social media. Once. It was if you're back, exactly from Belmore, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. from Belmore to wherever in New Jersey, Lindhurst. Is. Is and, yeah. See, see, they got a similar name. And Lindhurst not even close. Lindhurst is not even like a, 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 an easy to get to kind of place. Yeah. It's not by I the mean, GWB. It's not by any of the Gothels. It, it's or catchy though, Lindhurst, Lindhurst. Yeah, you know, like. that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and where did the, the Hindenburg was that Lindhurst, Jersey? Where did the Hindenburg blow up? Look up where the Hindenburg blew up. Oh, the humanity. 516 572 7440. Was that it was something Hurst? It was Lakehurst? I think it was Lakehurst, Pinehurst, or Lakehurst. Uh, uh, so this this Saturday, I guess you Manchester, uh, Manchester Township. Well, that's not, yeah, that's not. Find out what town within t- township rec- is like. We have town of North Hempstead, town of Oyster Bay. In Jersey, they have townships. There's usually a, a town or a city with a village within a, t- a township, but I guess they're just going. For maybe it maybe it's not originally Lake, and, uh, Lakehurst. Lakehurst. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that was uh, that's how like uh, that was someone being lazy. Uh, it was a Wikipedia. It was someone like not someone lazy, not going delving down. They just yeah, accepted that was Wikipedia. Yeah. It's it's the same thing as someone would say to you. Uh, oh, you're from the town of Oyster Bay. Yeah, but I'm not. You know, you're from Plainview. Billy right? Joel had yeah. that song, yeah, but he's really from Hicksville. What rhymes with Hicksville? Yeah. Well, he was you know. And actually, uh, that song is the um, it doesn't uh, it was when he says it from town known as Oyster Bay, Long Island, and the 
come Billy the Kid was actually a bartender in Oyster Bay. It wasn't him. It was a bartender named Billy. They called Billy right. the Kid up in Oyster Bay. And, and, and you know Allentown? It was supposed to be originally Levittown. Levittown, sure. Yep, yep, yep. Well, and you're he, the guy to know that would yep, know all this exactly stuff. Exactly. <laughs> because I host Piano Man, Sundays, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., right here on 90.3 WHPC. I'm Chris Muldoon. That's Cameron Margora. He's Mark Tchaikovsky. <clears throat> we would love to hear from you if you want to win those tickets or if you want to call in 516-572-7440. So this weekend is kind of a cool kind of thing if you're a New York sports fan because the Yankees and Mets were play at night on Saturday night? Oh, well, I wouldn't think they would play around 6. That's right. And that's not the time to play. Well, the Mets don't play a- afternoon day games on Saturday. <laughs> because they're not national enough? That's why... I mean, af- no, after- that doesn't make any sense. Well, that you, just you, sense. Used to they don't be- play day games on Saturday. 7, anymore. 7, and, and then 8. It used to be that the... Because uh, the Fo- Fox had the 1 o'clock window. So, on Saturdays. So, the teams that were playing at 1 o'clock were the best teams that were playing right. national, and you were not allowed to play until 4 o'clock the earliest, uh, because right. they did not. They had that national window exclusive exclusivity. Uh, though the Yankees did win with their little battle with ESPN. Aaron Boone going off against his former employers, ESPN. So, so they, that July 8th... They flexed it back.